Virginia's Governor Glenn Youngkin changed the state's process for restoring convicted felons' rights to vote, rolling back more than a decade of civil rights reform in the Commonwealth. The governor never announced the change, nor provided any explanation of exactly what has changed. But as Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder explains, the effects of Youngkin's action means that fewer people are getting their right to vote restored. Done. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin offering few details about his unannounced plan to change the Commonwealth's process of restoring felons' voting rights once they've completed their sentence. I mean, we don't do government in secret. We don't make big decisions that affect people's lives in secret. State Senator Scott Surreville and other Democrats started asking questions after state workers who register voters noticed former inmates weren't getting their rights restored. Virginia's Constitution strips a felon's voting rights until they're restored by a governor, a process relaxed by former Republican Governor Bob McDonnell, eased further by Democrats Terry McAuliffe and Ralph Northam until the process was nearly automatic. That's in the Marine Corps. Veteran Howard Hughes had his voting rights restored in about 48 hours after serving 18 months for a nonviolent offense about a decade ago. Having your right restored makes you feel human again. In a letter to state senators, the Secretary of the Commonwealth says when someone is released from prison, they'll need to apply and the state will, quote, research each application and provide further information to be used in the consideration process. The letter does not outline specifics about the restoration process. So News 4 asked the governor's office for an explanation. Without specifying the process, a spokeswoman issued a statement saying the governor is, quote, practicing grace for those who need it and ensuring public safety. Multiple studies that have shown that when you restore somebody's rights, the odds of them recidivating, committing another crime go down by 18 percent. And if you're actually tough on crime, if you're trying to prevent crime, you restore rights. For Howard Hughes, getting back his right to vote was a major step in transitioning back into society and finding a job. He hopes others aren't denied the same chance. For me, the only reason why I think he's doing it is so he stopped people from voting. Every General Assembly seat in Virginia is up for election this year. Reporting in Northern Virginia, Drew Wilder, News 4. By comparison, people convicted of felonies in D.C. never lose their right to vote. And in Maryland, voting rights are automatically restored once a person is released from prison.